Hi, it's Nicola Bird here. Um, I am due to start my Live Below the Line challenge where I live for a pound a day for five days uh, tomorrow. So I have to tell you, I am uh, seriously worried about it. The people <laughs> I've talked about have told me how hard it is, how difficult it is, how rubbish I'm going to feel. Um, I'm curious as to whether this has to be a really horrible, nasty experience or not. I don't know. I like my food. I'm I'm worried. Um, what, the reason I'm supporting the Hunger Project as opposed to any of the other charities that are taking part in this, I spent the day with the Hunger Project yesterday and one of the things that I love that the Hunger Project do is that they um, they work with the chronic persistent hunger, the, the stuff you don't see on the news. So not the pictures that you see with the children with the swollen bellies and the flies around their eyes. It's the persistent chronic hunger that 92% of people who are suffering from hunger in this world are because of chronic persistent hunger, not because of famine and um, food, you know, desperate for food crisis situations. There are loads of charities helping that 8% who are really suffering and in dire need. But it's the invisible side of hunger that the Hunger Project work on with sustainable projects. So um, that might be women dying in childbirth because they're malnourished, um, it, children with stunted growth. And, you know, every time I look at my kids, it just really reminds me how lucky I am that I don't have to worry about that, that situation. Lots and lots of other examples of how uh, chronic persistent hunger and malnutrition um, means that kids die of things like the common cold and diarrhea just because they're so malnourished, they can't, their immune systems just can't fight that stuff off. Um, so that's why I'm doing it, uh, for to raise money for an awareness, really, of what, what's going on and for the Hunger Project. Let's show you my menu for next week. <laughs> I've just written out in big letters because hopefully that'll make it better. So porridge for breakfast pretty much every day. Well, every day. And then I have three meals to spread through the rest of the week. So I have peas and pasta and I have lentil curry and I have tortilla. Friday is going to be grim. I have porridge, lentil curry, lentil curry. And I have to say, it's not even lentil curry. It's lentils, a third of a carrot between those three meals, and a bit of curry powder. I'm going to be so cross as I do this, I'm sure. Anyway, let's see. Um, so that's today's update. And um, this is the last time you, maybe you'll see me smiling, but who knows. Um, and I'll be back and let you know how it goes as the week goes on. Thank you for your continued donations. I really appreciate every time one pings into my inbox. It just makes me get all teary and appreciate you all so much. So um, thank you and I'll let you know how I get on.